Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinky Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Limited. Uh, this one is the beautiful white pearl coat. Absolutely beautiful chrome package as well. Starting off up front, you have your full LED headlight and fog light group. The limited style grill. This particular one does have the 360 degree camera system, which I believe is new for 2021 with the trailer tow mirrors, chrome tow recovery hooks, parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. On these higher end trims, starting at Laramie and up, you get a mild fender flare from the factory. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a 22 inch two-tone wheel on it looks like Goodyear Eagle Tourings and the tire size is a 285 45 22 plastic splash guards included from the factory this guy does have the 1500 e-torque Hemi here's your uh, trailer tow mirrors they are chrome as you can see 360 degree camera system right there your Ram Limited badging. This truck also has the deployable running boards. Passive entry system so you can lock and unlock the vehicle by pushing either the driver side or passenger side door handle. Very beautiful looking truck. I love this white color. Again, more splash guards in the back. Full LED tail light with your blind spot monitor right here. Dual chrome tipped exhaust with parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Here is your four pin and seven pin connectors. Four by four badge on that side, limited badge on this side, the new updated Ram logo, and your backup camera is right here. Coming around to this side, we have your capless fuel fill port right there. This guy does have the air suspension as well. I will go over that a little bit more in depth when we get into the interior. But overall, this truck is absolutely beautiful. Air suspension is awesome. The 5.7 Hemi E-Torque is awesome as well. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the interior and warm up just a bit. All right, so starting off over here on the left-hand side, I want to point out the attention to detail in this truck. Um, there is just beautiful stitching everywhere. Very nice soft touch leather throughout the entire interior. This really nice blued looking wood trim. These dark brushed accents. And again, the leather just everywhere is absolutely amazing. Right here we have your lock and unlock buttons. All the window controls for the vehicle are gonna be right here. The driver and passenger windows are automatic up and down. Right here we have all the mirror controls. These mirrors are power folding. Speaker grill right here, because this vehicle has the 19 uh, speaker premium carbon carbon audio group. Down here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. To the right of that we have the dimmer switch for the map lights, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top, again, like I said, soft touch leather everywhere i'd say easily 85 percent of the dashboard is soft touch leather which is very nice right here we have your tachometer on the left speedometer on the right beautiful lcd screen in the middle each of the four corners is customizable to monitor whatever you want and there are tons of features within this touch screen or not touch screen this center lcd screen and you can also see the ride height of your air suspension from here as well Working our way back to the steering wheel, beautiful blued leather wrap steering wheel with wood accents from about 10 to two. And then at the six o'clock position down here, again, that brushed metal trim continues throughout the interior. This control pad right here controls the center LCD display. Your hands-free call buttons are gonna be right here. Over here, we have your um, adaptive cruise control or gap monitoring. Uh, system, your regular cruise control system, and then your gear limiter selector right here. Just like all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel, and a volume rocker 
on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. As you'd expect, push button start's gonna be right here. Again, another speaker for the Harman Kardon Premium Audio Group. Storage tray with a 12 volt outlet, which is gonna be right over here. Blued wood trim throughout, real wood, very nice. Right here we have your lane keep assist button, hazard light button, and your parallel park assist button. Massive 12 inch touchscreen display, which splits into two eight inch touchscreen displays. If you have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto will be up top. And then you can have whatever down below, such as navigation, climate control, uh, your backup cameras, heated ventilated seats, very nice. All of your physical HVAC buttons are on both the sides of the touchscreen display. Volume knob, tune knob right here. Uh, as you can see, you can do multiple things through this touchscreen display. Uh, you can also access all of the cameras as well right here. And this is what the split looks like. Coming over here, we have your rotary dial shifter with your push button transfer case. And because this vehicle is equipped with the e-torque Hemi, your automatic start stop button is gonna be right here. It is on by default. Right over here, we have the integrated trailer brake control for the vehicle. This right here controls your ride height. All the way down is entry mode. One up, I believe, is freeway or economy mode. Right now we are in normal. Up one is off-road, and then up two is off-road two, which will be your highest setting. To the right of that, we have your traction control button, tow haul mode, and then your front or your rear parking sensor and your front parking sensor is off. They are on by default. Under that, we have a little storage tray. Over here, we have two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as an auxiliary jack. This vehicle does come equipped with the uh, wireless charging pad which brings us to the configurable center console. As you can see, push up on this, or down on this, giving us access to two cup holders. Push on this, giving us access to some change storage, as well as a little storage cubby right here. Uh, this center console does have three positions. We are in the first one right now. Push it back once, giving us access to only the cup holders. Push it back again, giving us access to the deep storage compartment, which does have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet down there. That brings us to the beautiful center armrest that does have limited on it with again, beautiful stitching. I cannot get over how soft and how nice this leather is to touch. This is a tiered center armrest storage compartment. There are two. The shallow one is right here. It is felt lined and has a USB port. The second deeper portion gives us access to this deep storage compartment down here. If you look on the back of the lid, RAM did give you uh, some goodies, trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversion, and then fraction to decimal conversion over here. If you look closely down here, on this little center divider, you have the four previous generation of Ram trucks, which is pretty cool. Here's a closer look at the limited seats. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I love this frost and beige color scheme in this truck. Real wood on the first glove box, which you open by pushing this button. It is a felt lined and LED lit, as you may be able to see. There is a lot of washout from the sun. I'm sorry about that. Under that, you have your second glove box. Coming up top to the vanity, it is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. And on the driver's side, you do have a three door universal garage remote. Up top over here, we've got your tailgate release button your master controls for the dome map lights, and then your individual map light buttons. Assist, SOS button. All of these are for the panoramic sunroof, as well as rear sliding window. The three closest to the driver are for the sunroof. The one closest to the passenger actually opens the rear sliding window. 
in front of that, you have some glasses storage and then a standard auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, I'm very impressed with the interior of this truck. The soft leather, the touchscreen, the air suspension, just everything screams luxury. And you have a ton of room in this truck. The, the amount of room you have in here is kind of reminiscent of a heavy duty 25 or 3500. With that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see how much leg room we have. So before I get in, I wanna point out how much room you actually have. These doors open up at what seems to be almost a 90 degree angle. So if you do have little ones in car seats or big bulky items you need to put in the back, you can do that very easily with this truck. These seats do fold up, giving us access to some under uh, seat storage. Also, you have the second generation Ram in-floor storage system. This is removable, so you can put ice in here. And you also have centimeter markings as well as inch markings um, on it, which is very helpful. All weather floor mats are included with this Limited. And these seats actually do recline. I will go over that in a little bit. Getting in with the drop down running boards is very easy with the leather wrapped grab handles. Now I am 5'11 and with the driver's seat in its position, if I were driving, I'd say I easily have 10 inches to maybe a foot of leg room before my knees hit. Again, more detail on the rear of the driver's seat and passenger seat. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seat as well. Cup holders with cutout for a large tablet with real wood surround. Below that, you've got a storage cubby, heated and ventilated captain's chairs, as well as two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Because you do have the panoramic sunroof in this vehicle, your hanger hooks, as well as your LED dome map lights have been moved to the side. This center seat does double as a armrest slash cup holder, as well as a storage bin, which is pretty cool. Now, like I said, these seats do recline, but before we get to that, I wanna show you, there are speaker grills pretty much everywhere in this vehicle because of the 19 speaker premium audio group. And I can tell you from experience, this has gotta be one of the best audio groups uh, currently offered in the uh, truck market. So right now my seat is upright completely. I pull on this little lever in the middle of my feet and push my back against the seat back. And now my seat is reclined. So even in the reclined position, I say I have four to five inches of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. And going on a long car ride in this vehicle is going to be a breeze because I can pretty much just lounge around back here. To put the seat in the upright position, pull up again on the lever and push your back into the seat back, and then you will put the seat in the most upright position. Let's take a look at the bed real quick. So there's a couple ways to open the tailgate on this vehicle. The first way is with the button I had previously shown you in the middle of the driver and passenger seats on the headliner. Second way is with the key fob, push it twice, it'll release. And then the third way is the traditional way. You're gonna come up to it, push it, and it's gonna automatically come down for you. This guy does have a spray-in bed liner from the factory, as well as four tie-down points, one in each of the four corners. It also has a LED bed light system on the driver and passenger side, and it has a cargo management rack with an additional four tie-down points. So this guy comes with eight tie-down points from the factory. And it also has this soft trifold tonneau cover included. Now to put the uh, tailgate back up, two fingers, slam it home. It is very light. I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum. So the tailgate, the hood, and all four doors. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. I understand there is some tint on the rear glass, so I will go over the key features. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $59,550. Your standard equipment is gonna be on this first portion right here. Your optional equipment is gonna start here and end right here for a total vehicle price of $70,800. Your fuel economy rating is right up here in this rectangle. 
This vehicle is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 19 miles per gallon.